Welcome back to Thought of the Day this morning. We are continuing our look at Advent Conspiracy uh, with our first tenant to worship fully. I believe there are two ways to worship fully. I believe the first is to bring worship to our everything and the second is to bring our everything to worship. So to look at the first, to bring worship to our everything, uh, I'd ask you to turn with me to Romans chapter 12, verses 1 and 2. Paul says this, Therefore I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing and perfect will. Back in the days of the Old Testament, one of the ways that sacrifices was made was to bring the uh, first fruits of the harvest and offer it to God as a way of worship and thanksgiving for the harvest that was received. But Paul is saying, give yourselves as the sacrifice. Give yourselves as worship and thanksgiving for what you have received. Do not conform to the pattern of the world, but actually seek what it is that God's will is in a situation so that you can then follow that will and live in a way that is holy and pleasing to God in everything that we do, every day, every hour, every action is a sacrifice to God, is given to God in worship. That is one way that we can worship fully with all of our time, all of our everything. The second way I think we can worship fully is to bring our everything to worship. And in order to explore that a little bit further, uh, I'd like you to turn to Ephesians chapter 5, uh, verses 19 and 20. I'm going to start halfway through verse 19. It says, Sing and make music from your heart to the Lord, always giving thanks to God the Father for everything. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, everything of our lives should be worship. Everything that we do, we should give to God and do for God. But there are still moments of worship, I think. A Sunday morning singing songs of praise with the rest of the church family, that is a moment of worship. Coming to God in desperate prayer is a moment of worship. And I think that we should do it from the heart sing and make music from the heart to the lord what i think this means is to worship fully is to give our entire focus to those moments of worship to not be distracted by other things going on to not wonder when the service is going to end and we can go and do lunch to not wonder when you've prayed for long enough to have got your point across that you can go and do some other thing or go to sleep finally or whatever it might be. But to bring our entire focus, everything that we are, into that moment of worship is to worship fully. And so in this season of Advent and Christmas time, when we get there, our challenge, I think, or the first part, is to worship fully to do everything that we do, to buy every gift, to write every card, to go to every extra meeting there is around Christmas time, every extra visit there is to family uh, or Zoom calls in this day and age, to do all of those things as if we're doing them for God, to bring worship to each of those things that we might be thankful that we can put food on the table at Christmas time. Be thankful that we have friends and family that we can spend time with. And the second is when we come to church for the Advent Sunday services through this season, 
for Christmas Day service, the carol service, Christmas Eve, whatever it might be. When we spend time in personal prayer through this season. When we spend time in, in worship just by ourselves. When we spend time with the Bible in these moments of worship that we bring our whole heart, that we're not distracted, that we give our time and our energy to God in those moments. I think that is also how we worship fully. Let's pray. Lord, you are a God worthy of worship and glory. I pray that when we worship you, that we will do it with our whole hearts. That we will not look for the time of worship to end. That we will not look to be doing something else. That our minds, if they wander, that we don't follow those threads, but that we come back to you. We focus on you and we worship you with everything that we have. And I pray that between those moments of intentional worship, that we will do everything that we do still as worship, that we will act in a way that brings glory and pleasure to you. That we will be holy and set apart, that we will not conform to the pattern of the world, but that we will conform to your pattern and your will. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. See you tomorrow.